Do you want a chance to win a Tapu Lele GX? Me too, because I love this card. All you have to do is go in the description, subscribe, and click the link for the Gleam.io and enter the giveaway. You get more entries if you subscribe to my main channel and also follow my Twitter. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another TCGO video. Link just jumped up on my lap because he demands attention. Today, as you can see, we got this beautiful ho o GX waiting for us to pull. Today we have a Burning Shadows. Now, I uploaded a video hopefully earlier today if everything went to plan. It was a Breakpoint box because I wanted to open a box and the TCGO was down. I am getting six Burning Shadows in tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to upload any, uh, well, I'm going to upload part two, I believe, of this and probably the breakpoint tomorrow. I'm uploading so many booster boxes. Hope you guys enjoy. If you are enjoying them, be sure to leave likes because that helps me support me in the, the, the use of a lot of money because these are like $90 to $100 each. This box, I, 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 one of my friends messaged me. He's like, yo, this specific shop is selling them for $99. You can go grab, they have a bunch right now. And I was like, oh, okay, I got to go grab one. Uh, in my mind, I was like, okay, $99, that's like $10 more than I would normally pay for a booster box. And then there was also tax, which made it twenty, one hundred and eight dollars, which is almost twenty bucks more than I would pay for a box. Link, you gotta go down, buddy. So I don't think it was quite worth one hundred and eight dollars, but we're still opening it today. I wanted to open it so bad. I want my Gardevoirs. I want my Gardevoirs. I really, really want my Gardevoirs. That's all I'm asking for in life. I want my Burning Shadows. I'm asking for more in life now because I need all of it. I, I pointed this out in the Breakpoint video. If you haven't watched, that was. Uh, I'm gonna spoil a little bit. Amazing box. Probably one of the best boxes I've ever opened. Honestly, it was so genuinely good. Um, I love Breakpoint as a set too, though. But this is Sunny Moon Burning Shadows. It has so many good things in it. There are a lot of cards that I've yet to pull. Um, pull so far for... I actually have most of them right here. Uh, m most of them, keyword there. One, I know for sure I don't have Galiciopod in here. I have Galiciopod GX, but not in this set. Tapu Fini, I have two full arts of him somewhere. I have a normal GX as well. But I also have another... I don't want another Tabu Fini. I'm done with Tabu Finis. I need one more and that's it. ho -O GX. One Gardevoir. I have two. Hold on. This is all up. ho -O GX again. Gardevoir. <laughs> Gardevoir. Lold Muck. Noivern. And Charizard. So we need more Charizards. I need... At l I want two more Gardevoirs. Now, I've been, I haven't been able to test Gardevoir decks yet. I think that's the one that I'm really going to like the most. It just... It seems to fit my playstyle so perfectly. I loved Mewtwo... Uh, Mega Mewtwo EX when Mega Mewtwo was good. It's still like a lot of people are like it. What? What? Why is it bad now? It's bad because of Garbodor, Garbodor, whatever you want to call it. And that makes me super sad because I really liked. Um, I really like Mega Mewtwo. It seems to flip, fit my play style. I like the fact that I could bridge it and grab all the things. But I want two more. I I don't know if I'd use four in a deck. I, I would rather use three in Galate or four. But I think I'd lean towards. There's been a lot of debate about whether to use. Four Guard of Guard of Wars or three and one Glade. I'm, I'm I haven't tested it yet, so I don't know. Super scoop up. That is actually a really good pull. I'm there's a lot of uncommons in here that I need. I need Guzma specifically. Oh my God! Can this be? Can this give me three great uncommons? Ace Rolla? No Ace Rolla. Whirlipede. But that was two good ones. Our reverse is knock over Buffalant. You could tell by Buffalant head. And our rare. Oh my god. It's an item card. Is this the choice band? Is this the choice band? It's a bodybuilding dumbbells. Okay. Not as good as a choice band, but still so good. <gasps> Woo! I peaked the microphone. It was so bad there, but I don't care. First box. Or first, first box. The second, th second box. First pack is what I meant to say. Bodybuilding dumbbells, a secret rare. I saw item cards in my mind. I was like, Choice Man. Choice Man is an expensive card right now. A Guzma Full Art on its own is like $50, $45 right now. This, I have no idea how much it's worth. I don't know how good uh, bodybuilding dumbbells will be. But in a pre-release, I went up against a guy that pulled an Alolan Muck. Second turn, he had Alolan Muck out with the bodybuilding dumbbells. And I, I conceded. I was like, I can't do anything to you. What this card does is if it's a stage one, so such as Alolan Muck, um, Alolan Ninetales, um, Espeon, uh, there's probably a bunch more that I just can't think of, um, Alolan Ninetales, I don't know if I said that or not, this will give that stage one 40 more HP. So it's very similar to Fighting Fury Belt, but you don't get that plus 10. And also the other thing is, now that there is, uh, 
you know, your your boy um, choice band around. That kind of takes up a lot of items. That does. I think bodybuilding dumbbells will be a lot better. Now, don't quote me on this, because like I said, I haven't tested any of the Guardians Rising other than... In, or not Guardians Rising. Any of the um, Burning Shadows other than in pre-releases. I think bodybuilding dumbbells will become a lot better after rotation. Once the next rotation comes through, Float Stun will be gone. Fighting Fury Belt will be gone. And I think it's going to it's gonna peak a little bit. Porygon. I think it'll get a little bit better. I don't know. Meryl. Hoot hoot. Rhyhorn, I've opened one pack and we've been recording for five minutes. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. Simi Sage, weakness policy, not a very good card. Wubba Fat, not a very, actually, honestly, a terrible card. A rare, thick fat, Azumarill. Ah. Wubba Fat, I, I look at it shadowy not 50 times. This attack is for each uh, retreat in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. So there's, there that could be a counter to a lot of things. There are also like stadiums and certain cards that will make your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost be more. I think it's like Team Aqua's base adds one more to it. So, I don't know, maybe it can one-shot certain things. So maybe it is a good card, but the thing is it takes three Psychic Energies with, and you, there's no colorless in it, it's all three Psychics. So I don't, I don't think it's gonna be that good. Wimpod, Wubbuffet, <laughs> speaking of which, Seedra, Plumera, I don't have enough of you yet. Discard two. I don't think it's a good card, but I need a Plumera. Our reverse. Is it Pikachu? Is it a Pikachu? It's a Pikachu! It's a cute little Pikachu. Everyone's complimenting this little Pikachu art. Everyone loves it. It is adorable. I love Pikachu. And our rare. Rock record. Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Rhyperior. This card, I have to say, is probably the best in pre-releases. I've been to a bunch of pre-releases. Megan won a pre-release. Megan, I think there was like 40 people there. And Megan was the only person to go undefeated. And Megan's victory was a booster box. She got a full booster box for winning it. I went two and three. I sucked. I, I did absolutely horrible. Granted, I didn't I didn't get a single wet coat. So I got no no GXs, nothing. I do have to say my best card that I pulled was a Toxicroak. So I ended up using Toxicroak. The other fun part was I went up against three decks. The three losses were against three dark type decks that had two of them. Dark Ride GX, the other one was uh, a little muck and I stood no chance. Mudbray, Tynamo, Oddish, Curlia. I needed, I need one more Curlia. Rabombi, another Guzma. Oh, that's beautiful. Reverse Tangrowth. Oh, let me pull this Rhyperior out. You're in the wrong pile, Rhyperior. Get over here. I know you're not that good, but you're still a hollow. And our rare is, ah, oh, it's Pessimian. I love this name. I hate, Punch. It's a, uh, there's another Pokemon that has that, just Punch. It's uh, Electabuzz. It's like, why, why not get a little bit creative? I love the name Intentional Grounding. I I, I believe that is full on a uh, American football reference because there's an, uh, there's a call for Intentional Grounding. I don't know if it's used anywhere else, but I know that's where it might have come from. Mudbray, Oddish, Duskull Dabby. I have to point out. Okay, I think I've no, no, said this before, but you guys see how S purr, because it's a cat. Why is it perplexing eyes? Why not perplexing eyes? I, I think there was a chance for a reference then. They just didn't take advantage of it. Sophocles, at least another. Oh, uh, Survivor is another good card. Oh, come on. Each player. Oh, uh, it's a wiki. I, I was hoping that it was a Guzma. I want as many Guzmas as I possibly can. It's a $3 card right now. Dust Storm, Sand Tube, Palisand. I think I saw Shiny. I think I saw Shiny. No Shiny. Dang it, I got all excited. Giga Impact Electivire. This Palisand is actually normally a hollow. Um, according to Lena. Lena played against this in a pre-release, and she said she got absolutely destroyed by it. I want to see what it does. We're going to read this together. Sandtomb. I'm, I'm new to the set still, so I'm still figuring out some cards that I want to read about them. 80 damage. The defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. Meh. It's all right. The nice thing about this card is it's psychic, and it's weak to darkness, which does help quite a bit in some certain uh, certain things or whatever. Duststorm, 100. Discard all cards from both active Pokemon. In pre-releases, that would be good. Um, the reason why I want to say that would be good, I, it's kind of like a, uh, a suicide bomber, I guess is the correct way to say it. I, I don't know if that's nice to say or whatever. But it's like, if you know that that Palosan is going to get knocked out next turn, maybe you use Dust Storm and it does 100 and maybe your opponent has a lot of energies on it. I don't know. And it's two DCE, so that is quite a bit. So, I don't know if that's a good card or not. Pikachu, Pampor, 
Plumera in uh, Breelies is definitely going to be good because that hits like a truck and it's a stage one. For 80 damage and the defending Pokemon can't retreat, that's that's pretty good. Olivia, that's, this card is getting some play. A reverse is Tantrum. Ah, it is a Beware. I've seen this card way too many times because of pre-releases. And a rare Sharp Fang, Bubble Net, do no, Araquanid. <laughs> I like this art. I was about to say Dupiter in case you're wondering. Dupiter is not the correct form of say, or correct word. Dupiter is the baby form of that. The pre-evolution is the correct way of saying that. Th Lay? You okay, buddy? What are you doing? He's sitting there. With I don't know if you guys picked. Oh, I just threw the freaking dark energy in the wrong pile. Um, Link just made like the weirdest noise. Come here, buddy. Where are you? What are you doing? He's sitting there wagging his tail. He's fine. Poor Yanni just wants attention. Pampor. Pan Sage. When doesn't he? Esper. Suck. Escape Rope. That's a good card. Soul Rock. Oh, I was hoping for another uncommon. Rabombi. A reverse. Two in the same box? Like, within like 10 packs? Oh. Never mind. I thought it was a Pikachu. Not gonna lie. I saw Electric and I saw Thundershock and I assumed it was Pikachu. Energy Slush. Uh, Malamar. Yeah, Malamar. That's, I mean, that's not a good card, but yeah i called it so the cards that i still don't have in this set um not like including like full arts just like cards like gx's that i haven't pulled I've, i haven't pulled i think i pulled one secret rare so far so well, yeah one and it was that bodybuilding dumbbells um what i haven't pulled so far is necrozma marshadow Machamp, and I want to keep it like that. I don't want to pull any Machamps. I don't know. I feel like there's a bunch, a few more. Super Scoop Up, Rotom Dex. Those are two pretty good cards. Rotom Dex, I don't think is that good, but it might end up being good. Reverse is, oh, please, please. Yeah, it's a Reverse Ralts. I want all the reverses of the Curlias and Ralts. That's a good card. And Zygarde Hollow. I've pulled enough Zygards to, to never want to pull another one. Never want to pull another one. But you know it's gonna happen regardless because I'm always pulling them. But that's two hollows and one uh, ultra rare, secret rare, which is kind of weird. I don't like pulling the secret rare immediately, although it does get me kind of hyped up. It's a fairy energy, in case you're wondering. Um, just because I feel like I'm not gonna be getting another one. I think I could still get a hyper rare though. We have a Oraltz, a Lolan Grimer, Sneasel, Crabrawler, Meow. That's a that looks like uh, the the map from Overwatch. I have no idea what the name is. Wishful Baton. That's a good card. Ace Rollo, really good card. I like that card. Gloom and our reverse is Biasidra. Secret Nash Teeth. Not a good card. And our rare. Sleep Pulse. Is it. What, what's that? Shenotic? Yeah, Shenotic. Wanna go say, buddy? Hold on. I'm gonna have to let him out. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a pack. Look, I'm not wasting your guys' time entirely. You want to go there, buddy? Yeah, you wanna go outside? Hopefully, there's nothing in the background. Look, I'm opening. I'm doing two things at once. I'm, I'm able to multitask. Let me get rid of this code. One, two, three. I feel naked without... It's this one. <laughs> that took me a second. I feel naked without my headset on right now. We have a Krogon. Let me get the focus. There we go. Pikachu. Pansier. Charmander. This is really cute artwork. It's kind of sad, though. They have a lot of references to the original Pokemon series, like the season one. It makes me sad a little bit. Bodybuilding Dumbbells is good. Sophocles is good. Guzma. No, Electabuzz. And our reverse is... Flare. Pansier. Not good. And a rare unharmed drift ashore. He's so cute. I love Slowking. We have a Tapu Fini pack next. Hopefully that doesn't mean we're going to pull a Tapu Fini. Like I said, I don't think I'd ever run a Tapu Fini deck with more than like two Tapu Finis. Because Tapu Fini is not that bad. I thought about it more. I looked at the attack. It's kind of annoying, but it does set up with Aqua Patch. It does work with Max Elixirs. So you could tech one in this, uh, not a Slow King deck, a Lapras deck. And he one-shots Garboder. One-shots also Shaman. So it's not bad. It's a nice tech. I don't think I'd ever... You know, we wouldn't want a full deck around it, but that's good. Metapod, our reverse is... Oh, oh, heal block, Lunatone? Yeah, it's man. And our rare... No. I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm so done. That was, I have my two Tapu Finis over here. I'm so, why? Is this gonna be the card I can't stop? Is this gonna be my new Turtonator? 
Which, once again, like, Tapu Fini's not a bad card. Tapu Fini's not a bad card. Yep. <sighs> Guys, we're probably gonna be doing a giveaway for Tapu Fini soon. <laughs> Tapu Fini's not a bad card. It does 120, so that's exactly enough to knock out Garboder. Unless Garboder has a bodybuilding dumbbells on itself, which I hate it. Oh, but I don't want another card that I can't stop pulling. I don't, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm happy. So far, we haven't even pulled a normal GX. We haven't. <laughs> we've gotten a full item, we've gotten a secret rare. No normal GX. But my god, just stop with this nonsense and give me. Give, give me the Charizard full art. Ladiba. <laughs> hoot hoot. Actually, secret rare, please. Volpix. Wishful Baton. Solrock. Simiport. Reverse Guzma. Oh, dang. I really thought I was right there for a second. It's a reverse Ace Rolla. I got really excited. And a rare. Uh, Venipede? Scoliopede. That's the name of it. It goes Venipede, Whirliopede, Whirlipede, or something like that. And then, oh, I gotta stop recording for a second. Had to sync that up. Um, <laughs> professional, I know. Uh, it goes like, Whirlip, no, it goes Venipede, Whirlipede, Scoliopede. I don't know why, but I always, always, always struggle with that. No idea why. But hopefully we're done with the, <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying them. We're done with the Tapu Finis, because I don't, I have four now. I have a play set. I have three full arts, which is beautiful. I wouldn't mind pulling a secret rare Tapu Fini. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind that, but I don't want any more. I don't want any more other than that. One more secret rare would be amazing. Well, one secret rare would be amazing, not one more. Our reverse is, oh, Venomous Fang. Oh, it's a Viper. I had to think about that for a second. I was about to say like Whirly Pete or, oh, oh. <sighs> Wait. <sighs> we got a Ho-Oh. I don't know why I was so disappointed. I wasn't I wasn't disappointed to get Ho-Oh, but I thought it was Charizard again. I wanted the Charizard. That's actually a really good pull. I'm not upset with that by any means. That's a good pull. That's a good pull. It's just second to, to Charizard. I thought I got the Charizard. It's a great pull. Ho-Oh is a good card. I don't know how good Ho-Ho is going to be, but it's beautiful. He's got a good GX attack. He's got Phoenix Burn, which is actually a good attack. And then Sacred Fire if, uh, you know, Phoenix Burn does 180, right? Slap a choice band on it. It's doing 210. Add a Kakui to that. It's doing 230. What does 230 uh, damage on it, you might ask? Gardevoir. So maybe that's a good counter doing in a Volcanian deck. And Volcanian decks can also use uh, Volcanian Steam Up ability to knock them out. You never know. I have been thinking about adding uh, Power of Alchemy um, Muck to my. Uh, Gardevoir deck. I've, I've been thinking a lot about Gardevoir. I don't know why, but I think that'd be a good little counter to it. Escape Rope, Wiki, Mount Lanikila. That was three. Yeah, see, the retreat cards of each basic Pokemon. So that could help with uh, your boy Wubbuffet. Our reverse. Oh. Oh, it's Wiki. Oh, I always get excited that it's going to be a uh, Guzma. And our rare Synchro. Oh, it's. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not talk about that one. Let's avoid that one. We, we can. We could not. We could go on living without thinking about. Uh, yeah, a rare Bruxish. We already had a rare Bruxish in um, the normal Sun and Moon one. Why do we need another one? No one likes Bruxish. It sucks. Like, there's never been a good card of it. Well, there's been two, but there's never been a good card of it. They had a um, pre release promo as Bruxish. Why are they pursuing Bruxish? No one wants them. Stuffle. Maybe someone does. Morlo. I don't know. Sandy Gas. Venipede. There's a little Venipede. Mount Lanikila. Another good card. Electabuzz. Noctowl. Noctowl is very good in pre-releases. Our re reverse is Comet Punch. Ladiba? Ladian. I was close. And our rare. I thought we had an ultra rare. Submarine. Ah! Lucario Hollow. This is my third Lucario Hollow. Almost catching up to the Tapu Finis. I do like this uh, Lucario Hollow though. The stance is a good ability. Uh, basically, I'm not, I'm not going to read it out because we're, this video has gone on long enough. Um... When you play the card and you evolve one of your uh, your Riolo from him, the Lucario doesn't take any damage or effects the following turn, your opponent's turn. So if you evolve him, no effects. Obviously, people are po yeah. Your opponent can use like Garboder uh, that shuts off abilities or Hex Maniac or something like that that could just shut it off entirely. So there's counters to it. So it's not that great, but it's it could be decent. Electric. Buffalot, our reverse is Rock Ricker. Ah! 
Ah, Rhyperior. That's normally a hollow. That's nice. And a rare Hyperfang. Oh, it's an Alolan Raticate. A lot of people have been talking a lot about that Alolan Raticate. I think it sucks. <laughs> I think it's really bad. I mean, you can attack for no energies, so you can tech it in. If your opponent has, or like if you've seen a lot of, oh, there's two, oh, there's two more packs. Nice. Oh, I thought there was just one more. If your opponent has, or you, you're running into like a lot of, let's say, cards that are weak to dark, then you could tag him in, slap a few choice bands, a few, um, choice bands, uh, float stones, bodybuilding dumbbells, and maybe that could be a decent card. I don't know. There's not too many fighting decks right now, so he doesn't have much of a weakness. All uh, Vulpex, all oh, that could change. I don't know. Marshadow could be a thing. I hope to pull a Marshadow. Grimer, Sneasel, Lana. I still haven't pulled a Marshadow yet. Heatmore, Simiseer. Our reverse is. It's not a Marshadow. I don't know what it is. Metapod. Okay. All right. Not a good pull. Uh, our rare. Oh, this is actually a good card. Very good card. Alola Nine Tails. Not even because I love Alola Nine Tails. The ability. Prevent all effects of attacks and damage and like yada 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 from opponents GX and EX Pokemon. It's basically like Regice, but added with um, added with GX and also uh, it do you can use a DCE on it. It's and it's a stage one, but stage one makes it more clunky. That means you can run a Lolan Volpix in the deck. That's always a good excuse. So I do think Water decks got a little bit better with a uh, Lolan Ninetales here now. Cutie Fly. Tynamo, Duskull, Inke, Metapod, Dusclops, no Guzmas. Our last, no, we have one more chance to get Guzma. This is the Electric? Yeah. We, this is our last chance to get Guzma on this side of the box. Nope, no Guzma. Vigorous Dash, kick away, Mudsdale. Dang it! But guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you haven't joined the giveaway, be sure to do that. All you have to do is subscribe. Get out of here. <gasps>